Hello and welcome to why you must upgrade DBDOS Pro 7 now, especially if you already own DBDOS. My name is Mike Roslog. I'm the president and CEO of DBase LLC. And I thought it was important to reach out to you guys and explain to you why it's so important to upgrade. So let's go ahead and dig in. The first question is why people don't think they need to upgrade. And you know, the number five reason that we get back from our customers is cost or dollars spent. And we put a lot of time, energy, and effort into making great products for our customers to get a lot of great use out of it. And so we believe the value that we bring to the table is unbelievable. For the cost of the product, which is the high cost of $149 per copy, or if it's an upgrade, $129 usually, in that, in that range, that's a huge deal because the return on investment is great because of all the work we do. Now, if you can think about it, the fourth biggest reason is cost. It costs too much. But as I said before, not only do we spend a lot of time on it, but name another product that gives you the return on investment that DBDOS does. DBDOS allows you to run your applications. You can modify your applications. You can use your applications. You can use your applications today better than what you could back in DOS days. That's an amazing type of thing. And that's got to be worth something. Number three, I don't need the new stuff. That's what a lot of customers think. I don't need the new stuff. I don't need the speed. I don't need the ease of use. I don't need all those whiz bang features that you guys have added, like cut, copy, and paste and things like that. But once you get a hold of it and once you find out what you can do with it, it's an amazing thing to watch somebody upgrade from, let's say, version three or version four or version five. They go, wow, this is really something. And this is really unbelievable of what I can get out of it. So we think that cost ROI value is huge. The second reason is I don't want the hassle to upgrade. My gosh, you know, I just, I bought the software. It's working beautifully. I don't want the hassle. You know, I'm going to be able to show you in just two clicks, basically, how to upgrade a configuration to the latest and greatest. It's, it's actually really simple. And it's working now, why do I need to upgrade? Well, that's true. And we're really proud of the fact that most configurations today work beautifully for our customers. We don't have a lot of people calling in going, hey, this thing doesn't work. Matter of fact, it's around 99.9% .9 unless there's something with a hardware situation or something with a special configuration. We have one customer that who needed nine LPT ports. Uh, we only support up to four. So, you know, that was a situation where we couldn't help a customer in that situation but for the most part you know it's if it's working it's going to work in the new version we spend a lot of time ensuring that if you if if you use a feature from let's say 3.0 that it's going to continue to work in 7 and that's something that's really important so it's easy to do it it gives you more capabilities and the cost is in line with what the value is we're bringing to the table so why why should you upgrade from our perspective? Well, we've had huge we've had huge speed increases every release, basically three, four, and five, and six, and seven maintains that speed right now. We've we've optimized everything on this. So if you're running on an old version, you're going to see some positive results. DBDOS has increased the printing capability, over 70 new print drivers, including print to PDF and to hard copy and PDF. In other words, you can print to your printer and the PDF at the same time. That's something you could never do in DOS, in the DOS days. Number one, PDF really wasn't around, but this is another feature functionality that we've brought to the table that adds extreme value to our customers. We've upgraded the file system and we've optimized it for SSD or solid state drive and network aware operation. We believe we have one of the best in engines on the market today. Easy DOS is an, a program that we've introduced a while back and we keep on upgrading it, making it faster. But basically you can create a configuration in three easy steps. We've increased our graphic support with both viewing and running speed. And what a lot of customers don't realize is just how much overhead there is to a DOS screen. And, you know, we are shocked by that and we do a lot of work to make it so that we get the fastest output possible. Finally, as I said before, we've already introduced the cut, copy, and paste functionality, both from Windows to DBDOS. So you can copy something from the Windows and put it into DBDOS. And 
from DB DOS back to Windows. And that's a huge functionality increase that most products don't allow on the market today when you're interacting between DOS and Windows and Windows and DOS. Finally, this is our secondary reasons why we think that upgrading to DBDOS Pro 7 is essential. Beyond the fact that it makes our it makes support easier, it makes it makes it easier and faster for us to help customers because we're on a common version. But DBDOS has a huge ROI, as I said before. And again, name another piece of software that adds the value that you were getting from 40 year old plus software programs. This is an incredible value. It's an incredible piece of software that allows you to do some really great things. DBDOS is a fraction of the overall cost. Think about this. You purchased a product 40, 45 years ago, and you're still using it today on the latest and greatest Windows operating systems they come out with 64 bit, and you're still getting the advantage of using that product. It's amazing. And DBDOS 7 is the fastest and easiest to use with all the value added functionality. It makes savings for you. It saves you money. We believe that's a huge go forward strategy. Some of the value adds that we don't really talk a lot about, we've introduced configuration docket. This allows us to know if you have multiple configurations running at a time, which we have a lot of our customers doing that, they can actually see right off the window title what configuration is running. It was it was a huge ad and people still love it to this day. We still get compliments on it. We've integrated the backup system import export functionality with zero overhead. You don't even realize it's there unless you need to use it. We've upgraded the graphic card functionality for faster paints and better resolution on large monitors. DBDOS looks good on my 30 inch monitor. It really does. And we've added four DOS integration. This gives us advanced memory management and it gives us the ability to do some really cool bat control products and make some bat files that execute various things. Really impressive. We've introduced Corrupt Guard. One of the things when you move to Windows is that you can shut down a DOS session with a click of a button. And you wouldn't realize how much that happens with our customers. So we've been able to build in some stuff to allow us to make sure that you're not going to corrupt your DOS session so that you don't have to go back and rebuild and all that. Huge advantage. Most customers who are trying to run something in a DOS window on Windows don't have that kind of security or safety that we introduced with Corrupt Guard. And finally, we've introduced Snipper. Snipper is this awesome utility, and I'm going to show you here in a few seconds how you can print screens and work with screens, whether you're in DBase or whether you're in Lotus 123, whether you're in WordPerfect 5.1, whether you're in Fox Pro, whether you're in Paradox, whether you're in Harvard Business Graphics, whether you're in MK Print, whether you're in whatever DOS program you can think of. Snipper allows us to manipulate the screenshots from that, and it really helps customers who want to have that look, you know, they want to be able to copy various parts of the screen out for documentation. And because we have various parts in here, we make it really easy to use, and I'll show that. So let's go ahead and get into the product. You're going to see the my background screen. I already have the configuration manager open, and as you can see, I have a wizard up here that says Wizard DBase 5, and it is from... DBDOS Pro 5. So this is two releases ago. And I just wanted to show you how easy it is to upgrade that process. So here we have 19 configurations and I can come in and there's the wizard for DBase 5, right? All I'm going to do, I've got the configuration already created. I'm going to click on the cog, the little gear. I'm going to come and click on advanced and I'm going to hit the save button. Okay, notice what happened. The icon changed to an upgraded 7.0 icon. So if I come in here and double click on it, there's the new launcher process. And here in a second, we'll have the new product up and running with all the functionality that we would expect to have running. So we can come in here, hit the Alt F. We can use, my, we can use our mouse to come over and hit the exit. And then if I want to exit out of here, I can exit out of there. That's how quick and easy it is to upgrade. No changes, no fuss, no muss. Now, let's say that I wanted to do that again, but let's go ahead and run this time the upgraded DBase 5, right? 
So I'm going to double click on it. There's the launcher. It said Pro 6. And here in a second, it's going to kick off and we'll have our Pro 5. Now notice there's that right there is the configuration docket. It tells me which configuration I'm actually running on the Windows process. Okay, so I can exit out of this. Notice I can come with the upgrade. And now down below, I have the upgrade to this, which is for DBDOS Pro 6. So again, I can come into here to my little menu to the cog. I can change this to seven because I want to change that description because we're going to be running on uh, DBDOS Pro 7. Advanced, save. Notice it changed it. I'm going to double click on it. There's the new launcher. And here in a second, it'll pop up right where it was the last time. And we've got everything ready to go and it's running instantly. So that just gives you a quick understanding of how quick and easy it is to run this process. Okay. Let's create a new configuration that allows us to do some of the really interesting things. Now, some of the stuff you can now sort and do all kinds of things with your configurations. But we also have, if there's a really long description, we have the ability now to show those really long descriptions in another window. So you don't have to, you don't get the dot, dot, dot anymore. You can actually see what's inside of those. But let's go ahead and create a new configuration. It's really, really simple. So I'm going to come in. We're going to call this uh, one, two, three. So I'm going to come up here and say Lotus one, two, three. And I'm going to say our configuration. I'm going to go next. I'm going to create my mounted drive. Now my mounted drive is on a SSD drive, which is about 30% faster than running it on a regular system. So I'm going to come in here to Lotus one, two, three. I'm going to come into my install directory and I'm going to hit okay. I'm going to hit OK again. Now, here's the cool part. I can now go ahead, hit Next. We're going to go to Command Line because I want to do some extra things. There's all my code pages. I can hit Next. We've got our Enhanced Printing. If I wanted to print a PDF, I could print a PDF. And again, that's one of those value adds where if I go into that PDF and print there, also print the printer. So it prints to both locations for you. So it's actually pretty, it's actually really, really cool. But if you don't want to save to the PDF, you don't have to. We try to give you as many options. If you're using the old style, like raw and interpreted, we allow you to continue to use those. We also come out with OpenGL. I've got an NVIDIA card on this machine and I, I can actually make it run faster using that card support. I can come out here and say, make a shortcut and I hit next and I hit finished and boom, I've already created that configuration right there. Now, one of the great things is if you're in the configuration manager, a lot of people don't know this, but if you click the little arrow key, it automatically kicks it off for you. You don't even have to go out onto your desktop and get it. You can do everything from inside of here. Now I'm inside. Notice it says snipper is installed, right? Great. That's exactly what I want. I want to see snipper installed. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say one, two, three, and I'm going to hit enter. And we're going to have this process come out. So if I go exit, quit, yes. Okay, I'm back out into the prompt. Let's do a DIR. And how many times, let's do a DIR slash W. How many times did you want to go up and get a printout of like what's in your directory? Well, Alt W, there's my little cursor. So I can set my cursor wherever I want. So I want to go up there to notepad, up to this notepad up here. And I'm going to hit the enter key. When I hit the enter key on this, I'm going to slide this down. And I'm going to bring this over and you'll see it all highlight right there. Great. And then I'm going to hit enter. And then it's going to come up and ask me, do I want to save this as a file? Do I want to print this automatically? Do I want to queue save it, which is quick save? Um, or do I want to get one uh, that I've already saved? So it allows us to work very quickly and easy. And if I say save, it's going to, it went ahead and saved that for me. So everything is ready to go out of the box with the product. And again, Loading up the product is simple. Now, remember I said about before that we have this thing for corrupt guard, right? I don't, if I go up here and if I would type in exit, I would exit out of here. But let's say I go up and hit the little red button, which a lot of people do when they want to close a DOS window. It, it automatically catches that, pops up and says, hey, you're about ready to close DBDOS. Are you sure that all your data and everything is closed off and you're ready to go? If it is, which we are, 
you can just go ahead and hit yes and it automatically takes care of it and closes it if it's not you can just go ahead and run it and it'll go back to where it was before so we capture that ahead of time so again a lot of the stuff that we do is to ensure that you're getting extreme value for the money that you're putting down for this product we think we've done a phen phenomenal job on it and we believe that there is so much capability functionality that we've built into it again if i go into a configuration let's go into the upgrade here we're using seven there's there's things that you can do inside of the configuration that is there now one thing i wanted to show which i can't show now but you notice that it rammed out snipper and the reason for that is because it's an existing configuration snipper will only be enabled on all configurations if you create a new configuration if not you have to go in and make a small modification it only takes a second to do which i'll put a video up for that later on but one of the things is we have the ability to cut copy paste from various points of uh, structure right so let's say that i wanted to copy something from windows to the product so i have windows i have word up here and i'm going to say hello from mike and i'm going to just that's all i'm going to do okay i'm going to copy that into my clipboard and i'm going to come in here to my icon on top of the screen and i'm going to say paste from windows and what's it do it puts hello from mike there that's something that most programs can't do we also allow you to do the exact opposite and what we how we do that is we allow you to come in here and say print and print it to the clipboard and it'll actually print it to the clipboard so that you can use it then in windows so you can copy from your dos program into windows now remember how i was using that uh, snipper if i want to just make it so it prints at the screen all i have to do is say print the db dos clipboard and it automatically prints it out to there instantly it's really really cool the functionality and capability that we have inside of the product so with that I hope you'll take a look at the product. I hope you'll upgrade your product because we believe there is great value in that upgrade situation. Thanks for listening. Thanks for your prior support and have a great day. Bye-bye.